chloroplast biogenesis and functions. This presentation includes some aspects of chloroplast biogenesis. First and foremost, proplastids are primarily found in the photosynthetic cells of leaves, and they contain only outer and inner membranes. If the plant is not exposed to light, it grows in complete darkness, characterized by non-green plastid, called edioplast, in plant tissues. Chloroplast development is arrested at this stage, and contains semicrystalline array of membrane tubules. Upon illumination, deetiolation occurs, which is marked by the transition from edioplast to chloroplast. Thylakoid membrane is formed by vesicle budding from the inner membrane, leading to the development of chloroplast. Moving forward into the diversity and differentiation of plastids. Plastids exist in different forms based on tissue type and developmental stages. Arrows indicate transitions between different plastid types. Proplastid acts as a precursor in the development of all plastids. The proplastid develops into either chloroplast on exposure to light or transforms into an edioplast on exposure to darkness. Chloroplast can also further differentiate into the dying gerontoplast, phenyloplast or chromoplast. Proplastids can also develop into intermediate plastid called leucoplast. Based on its function, leucoplasts may further differentiate into either amyloplast, proteinoplast, or an aleoplast. Leucoplasts and chromoplasts are also interchangeable. When lecuoplast attains pigments, it becomes chromoplast and when the chromoplast loses pigments it can become leucoplast. Let's dive into the details of each type of plastid. Proplastid is an immature plastid that acts as a precursor in the development of all types of plastids. Proplastids are found in plant meristems. Chloroplast is a photosynthetic green-colored plastid found in green leaves and green stems. Contain chlorophyll pigments A and B, responsible for photosynthesis. Edioplast is the initial stage of chloroplast that is formed when green plants are grown in darkness. Edioplast accumulates chlorophyll precursors in prolamellar bodies. Gerontoplast is a chloroplast whose photosynthetic apparatus is dismantled during senescence. It contains decomposing thylakoids, found in senescing leaves. Phenyloplast stores solid form of phenol. Chromoplast is a carotenoid pigment accumulating plastid, responsible for yellow, orange, and red colors of flowers and fruits. Chromoplasts contain lipid droplets in which carotenoids are stored. Leucoplast is a colorless plastid involved in the biosynthesis of fatty acids and amino acids. It stores energy sources in nonphotosynthetic tissues. Amyloplast is a starch-storing plastid found in potato tuber, roots, and grains. Alluroplast or proteoplast or proteinoplast stores proteins found in maize and pulses. Eleoplast or lipidoplast or oleoplast stores lipids in lipid droplets, called plastoglobals. Examples include tube rose, castor seed, and ground nut. Functions of chloroplast Most importantly, chloroplasts perform photosynthesis during the daylight hours. Chloroplasts also provide diverse metabolic activities, including the biosynthesis of amino acids, fatty acids, and membrane lipids. The proton gradient across the thylakoid membrane drives the synthesis of ADP in the stroma of chloroplast. Nitrite is reduced to ammonia in the chloroplast, which is an essential step to synthesize amino acids and nucleotides in plants. Chloroplast genome is employed in production of transplastomic plants. Thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video. Also, click on the subscribe button and hit on the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos.